National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Beatty, naturopath and a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today, I wanna to tell you a little bit about autoimmune diseases. This is one of the major focuses of my practice and it's a topic I'm very passionate about. One of the reasons I'm so passionate about this topic is that in most cases I find patients uh, that suffer from these conditions aren't really being followed up properly. And, and what I mean by that is autoimmune conditions tend to be a systemic condition. And in most cases, all we ever focus on is the target organ. So what happens in an autoimmune condition and what that terminology means is it means your immune system has turned on self. So your immune system has actually recognized a part of your body as being foreign and it's trying to attack and remove it. So it's essentially destroying, you're self-destructing. And what happens in this is if it shows up in your joints, you might get diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis. If it shows up in your skin, you could get diagnosed with lupus or psoriasis. If it shows up in your pancreas, that's type one diabetes. But regardless of where the condition shows up, the main dysfunction isn't with the end organ. The problem is not with the pancreas. The problem is not with the joint. The problem is within the immune system. And so a lot of the focus of treatment has to be on supporting the normal function of the immune system, allowing it to kind of reprogram itself so that it no longer is attacking the body. And so this is a really complicated area to work in because what I find with most patients is they're only being monitored for the organ that's being currently affected. And there's a lot of what we call comorbidity with an autoimmune condition. For instance, you know, if you have type one diabetes, you're much more likely to develop uh, a type of you know, autoimmune arthritis or some other autoimmune condition. And the reason behind that is the immune system is attacking cells, so it's attacking at the same time as it's attacking your pancreas, creating the type one diabetes. It might also be attacking the joints, slowly creating arthritis, and once the joints start to get deteriorated enough, that's now gonna show up as a symptom. You're gonna discuss it with your doctor and get a secondary diagnosis of having some autoimmune arthritis as well. So the real key problem though is back at that immune system. And so a lot of treatment focus has to be more on the immune system. And unfortunately right now, the only real tools pharmaceutically that exist are things that turn off the immune system. And although that may turn off its attack on your body, the other trouble is it turns off its ability, your body's ability to defend itself from other things. And so one of the, some of the side effects of these medications can be a host of uh, infections, much higher rates of uh, yeast infections, of pneumonias, uh, you know, some, some quite serious conditions, as well as most of them will increase your risk of cancer because one of the major roles of your immune system is the constant removal of cancer cells that are being produced in your body literally every day. And so when you're on a medication that suppresses the immune system, yes, it might reduce the symptoms of the autoimmune condition, but it actually leaves you susceptible to the development of much more serious conditions. So the approach I like to look at is removing uh, things from the diet, that will actually encourage the overactivation of the immune system and the um, improper activation of the immune system. Uh, typically, things like this, I look at removal of uh, gluten, which can be associated with a large number of autoimmune conditions. It's heavily associated with uh, autoimmune thyroid conditions, uh, autoimmune arthritis, um, and even type one diabetes. For instance, uh, a lot of the time now, it's pretty standard protocol if you get diagnosed as a type one diabetic, they're gonna screen you to see if you're also celiac because there's a very uh, common association of people with diabetes also being celiac. So really focusing on you know, potentially removing things like gluten from the diet and other foods that can stimulate the immune system to basically self-destruct and attack self. So dietary interventions, very important. There's also a few herbs that can be investigated because they've got some pretty interesting research uh, in treating autoimmune conditions. One of my favorite is called sweet wormwood, sometimes known as sweet annie, um, artemisia annua. Uh, it's a very uh, bitter herb, um, but artemisinin, which is the active ingredient within it, has been shown in a lot of studies to help reduce a lot of the inflammation in autoimmune conditions. 
Other herbs that have shown to be beneficial, things like curcumin or uh, turmeric, uh, can really help to reduce inflammation in a lot of autoimmune conditions and help restore normal function of the immune system. And one of the most important things is fish oils. The reason fish oils are so important is it's, they're the actual fats in the body that your body uses to regulate its inflammatory and immune responses. And those fats are turned into the chemical signals that allow your immune system to perform its normal duties. And sometimes having a deficiency of these fats can actually increase the risk of autoimmune conditions. As well, vitamin D. Vitamin D is of essential uh, importance in autoimmune conditions. Uh, deficiencies in it are heavily associated with the development of autoimmune conditions. And vitamin D, people don't realize this a lot, it's an immune hormone. We often think of it needed for our calcium balance and for our bones, but more importantly, vitamin D helps to run our immune system. So these are some things that you can do to help manage an autoimmune condition, or more importantly, prevent the development of one in the first place. So I hope you've learned some tools that will help you in your health journey. Subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.